Hello everyone and welcome. From voiceover Sammy, what we will need for painting our vase. Paint brushes, any kind of acrylic paint, old plastic lid, old small bowl, old plastic cup filled with water, and Mod Podge. I'm just gonna go through the supplies that we need one more time. These are the paint brushes that I have. We won't need to use all of those. And I'm just gonna show you here the different types of acrylic paints that I have. You can use any type of acrylic paints that you want to. I also have this little container of paint by number acrylics. So see, you can use whatever paints that you'd like. These are my most expensive acrylic paints. You don't need the most expensive, that's okay. I have a plastic lid to put my paints on. And this is the bowl that I'll put the Mod Podge in. And this is the cup that I put my water in. This is the Mod Podge that I use. I use the high gloss. Okay, we're gonna need to get out our very dry textured base. And I'm just showing you some of the texturing there on the surface. The acrylic paint I'm going to be using is Pink Melon. And I'm going to be using my black acrylic paint. I'm going to be pouring out my paint onto my plastic lid here. And there's my pink and then I'm going to pour out my black paint here. This looks very thick, but that's okay for this type of clay, which is B-Mix. It will be okay to actually add this heavy of a paint on there. We don't need to thin it out or anything. It'll be just fine. I'm going to get my paintbrush here and start applying the paint to the surface. You might have to push in on your paintbrush to get those bumpy, the bumpy surface to get into the crevices because I had a little bit of a problem here trying to get the paint into the, the bumpy surface. So you just press down with your paintbrush and move it around and that will help you get that into the, the surface there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to paint all of the surface Try not to have any white space in there and go all the way around. And the reason I am painting like this, most people will take a vase, you know, this type of clay to a kiln, which is like a big oven to cook this. But most people do not have a kiln and you can't just put this in a regular oven. It won't work with this type of clay. So I'm doing it this way so other people can can see that you can actually paint BMX with acrylic paints. And eventually in this video, we will put Mod Podge on the outside once the paint is completely dry and on the inside as well to seal the surface. This makes it a little bit stronger and tougher. It's supposed to be semi waterproof. So I wouldn't put water in this. You can put fake flowers in this if you'd like, but I wouldn't recommend putting a, a lot of water in it or putting it outside. So at this point, I'm just going to put in some music here
Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to clean out my brush. And if you do get a little bit of the pink water into the black paint here, it is okay. Black is not going to, it's not going to change that color. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this black paint and we're going to put it on the inside. We're going to apply that to the inside surface. And so I'm just applying here and you might have to pressure your paintbrush into the surface because there are bumps in this and little cracks in this. So you might have to press your paintbrush into, into the creases and cracks in there. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just applying that black paint. And what you do need to be careful of is picking up some of that pink paint after you've had the black paint. Because the black paint is going to be the most prominent color. And there is a part where I do miss and I will paint pink onto the surface and a little bit of black gets mixed in there so you need to be very careful you need to either switch paint brushes if you need to touch up that pink but just stay away from that black because it will blend into your pink and so now I'm going to add in some more music and we can enjoy <music>
this is looking really good. I'm going to show you the inside that has been painted. Looks really good in there, nice and black. Uh, then I'm going to show you the outside surface here. The pink looks really, really good on the surface. Okay, Mod Podge time. We have the Mod Podge already put in our small bowl. And I have my paintbrush and I'm going to put the Mod Podge on to the surface here. And you just work it in just like you did the paint. You don't want to try to get it too thick. It'll dry white if you do this. So you need to put it on there not too thick, but not too thin. And you'll see how I do it here. And you can judge how much to actually put on the surface. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing into the surface here and into those indentions. And then I'm taking a little bit of it out because it is scraping on there and it's leaving some on. We don't want to Mod Podge the bottom. You can Mod Podge the bottom after it's completely dry and set it upside down. You do not want to do that now because it will stick to the surface uh, like your newspaper or cardboard or whatever you have it sitting on. You do not want to do that right now because it will stick. So we can do that after. I didn't do that to mine, so you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you would like more of a seal, you can actually paint the bottom of it. So you just keep applying this to the surface until you get it all the way around. And then I will put this on the inside as well. You have to put that in the cracks and crevices that are inside. You want to make sure that you're doing the pink surface first and then the black. Because if you, if you do the black surface and then touch the pink, it's the same as with paint. It, you can pick up the black and then put it onto the pink. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we're completely putting all of this Mod Podge on the pink first and then move to the black. Okay, I'm going to add music here so we can enjoy.
this is looking really good. It's nice and shiny on the outside and on the inside. Great job. Thank you for joining me today. See you next time. Bye.